Good evening everyone, this video is going to be short and to the point. Uh, it's been a very long, hectic day. I'm in Long Island. I'm about a quarter of a mile from Ocean Avenue where I'll be spending the night. Um, this video is more for Roberta. I want to say some things that you need to listen to. I've been reading your posts, uh, you've been logging in with my Facebook, and like I said, I don't mind you doing that, but from now on, please, keep private posts private. Don't put it on public, okay? Send it to me in Messenger or call me on my phone. Um, one of your comments earlier, um, I kind of gave you an attitude I didn't mean to. I'm just under a lot of stress. Uh, you know... I would not join my family and do what they do. That's not something I'll do. Uh, I'm here to get answers. Uh, I had a long meeting today. I'm getting a lot of answers. Um, just be patient with me. You mentioned that you didn't think I was going to leave New York and come back to Maine. Um, you're wrong. I am coming back. But like I said, you know, I need to do this. This is something I need to do for me. If I don't do this now, I'm never going to get the fucking chance. You need to understand that. I need to do this. Do you remember about, oh, three weeks ago, you and I took a drive, and we were talking about um, bringing you here to New York to find out what it was really like, and so you could see for yourself what it's like in the big city. And remember how you said you were scared of a big city that you didn't think you could make it in New York? Let me tell you something, kiddo. If I can survive on the streets of New York as a seven-year-old kid, you could do it. I'm not giving you a hint or anything like that. I'm not saying come out here. <clears throat> but you have to understand, I know what I'm doing. I've got this. I really do. One day, um, maybe I can bring you here to Long Island. Uh, it's a very beautiful place. Ocean Avenue, um, I'm very well acquainted with. Um, even as a kid, I used to travel up this area. Um, if you research 112 Ocean Avenue, you'll see a nice landmark there that you might understand. Uh, it's getting cold here. Uh, but then again, Long Island is colder than a lot of other places in New York. Uh, here's the thing. And I'm just going to say this so I can wrap this video up because, quite frankly, I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm not mad at you for being on my Facebook. I'm not mad at you for messaging uh, whatever you're messaging. I have been reading them. Some of them I haven't responded to, um, but I have been reading them. If there's something you want to ask me, please ask. Don't beat around the bush. You, you know that bothers me. Just have the courage to say, hey, Al, this is what I want to know. Please tell me. That's the way I am. You can ask anybody that knows me. I'd rather you ask me directly. Um, you're messaging Margaret. You're messaging Ashley. Um, everybody else asking all kinds of questions. Those questions, you should have the courage enough to say, hey, Al, could you answer this? But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm not mad at you for doing that. I just wish you'd ask me. I'm going to be going back to Manhattan uh, probably tomorrow. And I'm going to finish up the meeting. And I'll let you know what's going on. The only reason I Skyped is because I wanted you to see where I was at. So you can actually see the landmarks. And once I showed you the landmarks... I'm pretty sure you realize where I was at. <laughs> I was in Midtown Manhattan. Um, <clears throat> it's not that far from here. Um, I'll probably take the E-train tomorrow, leave my truck packed. I don't know, but I've got to take a little journey. It's not going to be that long. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I am okay. I'm doing fine. There's a lot of things I need to take care of. I'm finally getting the answers I need to get. Um, you noticed all the people with suits. I noticed that in your comment. These are people I've known for a very long time. Um, I'm not going to discuss who or what they are, what they do. All I'm going to tell you is don't worry. I'm telling you, do not worry. Please, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm in good hands right now. My back is covered. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here. 
As far as what happens after this, you and I need to get together and, and have a nice long talk. Um, some of the things that you've been posting, you're actually starting to show me feelings you've never shown me before. And I'm very thankful for that. But you have to understand something, and I don't mean to be cruel when I say this. Now is not the time for me to start talking about those things. If I don't take care of this right now, I'm never going to get the second chance. I'm never going to get an opportunity again. Now's the time to confront my families, all of my New York families. Now is the time to get answers. And I'm going to get those answers, one way or another. So please, bear with me. It's going to be a while before I get back to Maine. I don't know how long, but it's going to be a while. Um, will I stay in New York? No, I won't stay in New York. Just rest assured, I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to abandon anybody. But again, I want to reiterate one thing. If you're on my Facebook and you log in using my email and password, please keep private stuff private, not on public post. I don't want all of Facebook knowing my private business. I know you didn't mean any harm, and I understand that. I forgive you, sweetheart. But please, from now on, private stuff stays private. It has to be that way, or I'll change my password. All right, I love all of you. I just have to do this. I love you.